Hello everyone, welcome to Change in Velocity. Today we are going to discuss I Love Secondary 2017 Science Paper or Achievement Test Year 2017 Science Paper. Let's look at the first question. First question is about uh, which of the following is a mixture? The answers that they have given is air, copper, oxygen and steam. Now out of these we know that copper is an element, oxygen is also an element. So both of these are elements. Steam is a state of water. So I would say this is water and that is in the, the gas form of water and also we can call this is an uh, this is a compound because we know that the water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen this is also they have a chemical bond in between hydrogen and oxygen so it's not a mixture so the only mixture that we have is air air contains different types of gases hope you can remember that you have learned this we have discussed that in the air, the 78% the is nitrogen, then 21% it is oxygen, then we are talking about argon, carbon dioxide, once again water vapor, there are many more sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, but the majority of that will be nitrogen, oxygen and Argon. So this is a AI yeah, is a mixture. Second question: Copper sulfate is a blue solid when it is added to water. The solid disappears and a blue liquid is seen. Which of these statements about copper sulfate is correct? So what we can simply say is once it is added to water and it has this blue color already and the water is turning into blue, which means it forms a solution in solution in water. It can't be evaporating if it if it evaporates evaporation means that the uh, solution particles are leaving the solution and uh, it is insoluble in water if it is insoluble we won't be able to see the color um, melts in water that's also wrong next one which is the best description of a term prey uh, prey can or cannot be a carnivore. Carnivore is the one which only eat meat. But anyway, it looks like this answer is correct. Is hunted and killed by the other animals. Yes, that is the correct answer. Kills and eats other animals so that we can call carnivore. But also we can't exactly say carnivore because it kills and eats animals. And it can eat plants also. Make it own food. We know that is the producer. Moving to fourth question, which of these properties of gold shows that it does not react with oxygen in the air? If some some substance is not reacting with the uh, oxygen in the air, that means it it must be really inactive. So we know gold is something inactive. So how do we show it? It conducts electricity. That is a property of a metal. It conducts heat. That is also a property of metal. And it has a high melting point. So all of these things are valid for gold and even this one it stays shiny so if it stays shiny that means it has not reacted with oxygen otherwise uh, for most of the reactive metals i'm sure that you have seen they are shiny when they are new or like uh, when they polished but after a while that shiny appearance go away because of this reason uh, it reacts with oxygen so it is shiny and uh, because of that we can say it doesn't react with oxygen in the air. Fifth question, a gardener notices that her plants are showing poor growth. A probable cause is a shortage of which of the following ions? We have learned about uh, four different types of um, mm, nutrition or like uh, elements that the plants need, nitrogen, magnesium phosphorus potassium as general some other uh, elements are also required but those are the four that we have discussed so we know uh, nitrogen is required for protein synthesis or like to produce proteins inside the plant 
so if the proteins are not there plant growth will not happen so answer is d inside nitrate nitrogen is available so answer is d nitrate sixth question if which of the following is a force electricity light mass and weight the answer is weight because weight is the gravitational force which is acting towards the center of the earth if it is on the earth seventh question the diagram shows forces acting on a ball what happens to the football you can see that the forces uh, are shown with these arrows and three of them are equal in size this one this one and this one but this is quite bigger so that the object will be moving to the right hand side so the answer is c bigger force means the resulting resultant force will be applied to that direction eighth question in an el el electrical circuit what is the symbol for buzzer uh, buzzer symbol is given as diagram a this is the buzzer ninth question this is a woodland food chain which organism is the producer a producer is the one which is creating um, this glucose or food at the beginning so that is the oak tree we know the plant will be most of the time the producer so blue tit will be secondary consumer caterpillar will be primary consumer and the owl will be tertiary consumer going to next which of the following is the most likely ph value of very strong acid we know when uh, we look at the ph scale middle is 7 that is neutral and to this side we have ph value increasing towards 14 so that this is alkaline and also when it is going towards 14 the alkalinity increases then to this side acidity increases so this side can be 1 or 0 i will say 1 for now so that until it goes to that side like it, it decreases the value that means its acidity increases so our answer will be a which is ph1 going to next question the diagram shows some of the organisms in the human body the table gives the names and functions of the organs labeled in the diagram complete the table a it is labeling lungs b it is heart c it is small intestine so we will note down lung C is small intestine. Functions of uh, organs for lungs they are telling uh, takes in oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. For the small intestine break down food into simpler substances and absorb these into the blood. So for heart we can say it pumps blood. going to next question a periscope contains two mirrors the diagram shows a submarine periscope complete the diagram by adding the two mirrors and a ray of light to show how a person in the submarine can see the ship from under the water you should represent the mirrors as uh, they have given the symbol for mirror and the light ray so in this one uh, i have already drawn these lines this has to be the arrow the light ray is going from the ship towards the person's eye so it has to be smaller so it has to go from ship towards the eye and also there has to be these dashed 
going to represent the mirror and remember the mirror uh, shiny surface is shown with this side I'll move to next one 13th question copper oxide reacts with an acid to form copper sulfate and water name the acid needed to form the copper sulfate so it, it needs to create the sulfate part so it has to be sulfuric acid explain why the reaction is an example of a neutralization reaction uh, here there is copper oxide copper oxide is a base so it will be a acid base reaction which is also called neutralization so i will say acid base reaction is called neutralization or i can say acid base reaction can form a neutral solution moving to next question 14th one the diagram shows a plant cell uh, name part a and b a you can see it is uh, labeled to nucleus and b for chloroplast Going to next one. 15th question Rocks can be classified as igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Um, this one I'm not going to explain since it's not in the new syllabus. The answer has to be uh, B because igneous granite. Yeah, but yeah, I would not explain further. 16th one Some substances are described as being addictive addictive now this is also directly not in the syllabus now uh, the addictive substances um, the answer is a person may become dependent on it answer is d next question what is the chemical formula for calcium carbonate it is CaCO3 answer is b other answers are wrong 18th one jack wants to measure the voltage that a cell pro produces in a in an electrical circuit to do this he should connect we know that to measure the voltage we need to use a voltmeter and also voltmeter has to connect parallel to the cell so answer is d 19th question metals can be bent into different shapes this is because they are malleable Conductors and insulators, we know it is related with heat and electricity. Shiny is an appearance, so malleability is the property that they are looking for. 20th question, a child goes from the top of a slide to the bottom. Which of the, uh, which of the following correctly shows the energy transfer that takes place? So we know at the top of the uh, slide, the, the person is having more gravitational potential energy. Uh, but let's look at gravity. Uh, top of the slide to the bottom yeah so that while the person is moving while the child is moving that child will gain kinetic energy and also thermal energy so answer is d it has to be plus over here it is not the arrow because at the same time both of these energies will be there question number 21 which of the following represent a mixture of an element or a compound this is only compound this is a mixture of elements this is mixture of elements and compounds then this last one it's a mixture of elements once again
Moving to next. 22. In which of the following places would the gravitational force be greatest? Uh, gravitational force is greater uh, closer towards the earth. So that um, they have given different places. Top of the Mount Everest it will be less. So the Death Valley answer is B. 23. Which of the following is an example of a discontinuous variation? That's also not in our syllabus anymore. Answer is the blood group. I'll move to next one. 24th one. The diagram shows a food chain. You can see it's quite similar to the one that we had before. Uh, poison kills some of the hawks. Which of the following are most likely to increase in number? So if the number of hawks decrease, we know that the blackbird number can increase. If the blackbird number increase, then the caterpillar number reduces so that we know that the lettuce number can also increase. So that the answer has to be the blackbirds and the lettuce. Answer is C. 25th question. State one reason why a farmer may wish to grow genetically modified wheat. This is also not in the syllabus so I would not explain at this point. Twenty-sixth question. Over many decades, the stones of important buildings such as York, Mine, York Minister in England and the Taj Mahal in India has been damaged by chemical weathering. Name the environmental problem that caused the chemical weathering that is called acid rain. Name the gas that is uh, the major cause of the environmental problems in a and explain where this gas comes from so the gas uh, which is affecting most it is the sulfuric acid so that the gas is sulfur dioxide and there are different ways to how it is emitted usually this sulfur is available as impurities in fossil fuels and once that is burned it can uh, come to the environment and it can dissolve in water and uh, later it can cause the problem so i would say uh, fossil fuels sulfur impurities One's fossil is burned. Sulfur dioxide. Uh, without using burned, I will use the term um, combustion. Once fossil fuel combustion reaction sulfur dioxide is emitted to the environment now for the acid rain there are uh, there is another gas which is uh, affecting that is nitrous nitrogen uh, sorry nitrous oxide uh, nitric oxide so somehow the oxides of nitrogen can help so this is also exo uh, coming in the exhaust gas uh, from the vehicles and also we can talk about carbon dioxide as well Next question, 27. A boy is wearing trainers. The total area of the soles of the two trainers is 0 0.02 square meters. Uh, the boy exerts a force of 500 newtons on the ground. Now this is also not in the syllabus but I will quickly give you the answer because it's a very simple calculation. State the units in your answer as well. Okay. So first of all we need to know pressure equals force over area. That's what I said. This is not in the syllabus. So pressure equals 500 newtons divided by 
zero point zero two so the answer will be twenty five thousand the unit of pressure is pascal if the boy stands on one leg how would this affect the answers to a what happens actually is when the surface area reduces the pressure decreases Sorry, pressure increases when the surface area reduces. Pressure increases. Question number twenty-eight. Some plants, such as strawberry plants, produces new plants from runners. This is also once again not in the syllabus twenty-eight question, uh, but we will discuss the answer. Uh, the new plants are produced in the uh, no. Um, this ones are runners, so that they don't need to have. Ah, okay, which is not true. So, that, so they say not true. Uh, they only have one parent plant, and new plants are clones. They are identical to each other, and they have the same genes because it's from the same plant. But which is wrong is the new plants are produced by sexual reproduction. That is wrong here. Twenty ninth question: Human characteristics can be inherited. Once again, this is also not in the syllabus. Twenty ninth answer: Which of the following is both inherited and affected by the environment? That is the height. Thirtieth question: Turkey farmers have gradually increased the average size of turkeys. To do this, they chose the heavy, heaviest female and the male turkeys to breed from. This is an example of we call this is selective breeding, and you need to know the steps of selective breeding. Thirty-one Ptolemy's model of the solar system. Once again, this is not in syllabus. And uh, the Ptolemy's model, following was thought the best at the center of at the Ptolemy's model. Uh, he thought that the Earth is at the center. So answer is A. Thirty-two on Earth, the force of gravity on a mass of one kilogram is ten newtons. On Mars, the force of gravity is only one third as great. Uh, an object has a mass of nine kilograms. What would be the weight of the object on Mars? So one kilogram is having ten newtons. So it would have around ten divided by three. So in order to find out, I will use W equals m g equation. Mass is nine here, and they said. Uh, The mass of the sorry the gravitational field is like one tenth, so I would use it this way. So answer will be thirty newtons. Answer is C. Next question thirty three. Complete the general word equation for the reaction between acid and a metal carbonate. If it is a metal carbonate, we know that there will be carbon dioxide given out. Addition to salt and water, so answer has to be carbon dioxide plus water plus salt. Thirty-four. An object at the bottom of the swimming pool looks closer to the surface than it really is. This is because of the phenomenon called the refraction. Thirty-five. Which of the following ions is needed by plants to make chlorophylls? We discussed uh, in a in a previous question also the different types of nutrition that the plant requires or the um, minerals that the plants require so out of that magnesium is also one of the those and magnesium helps to create the chlorophylls next question magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide the correct balance symbol equation for this reaction will be mg plus o2 it will give mgo but we need to uh, balance it so that the answer will be d If you can't figure this out, please check my other video about balancing equation. Thirty seventh question: Which of the following Sankey diagram shows the most efficient electrical bulb? If something is efficient, that means out of the input energy, most of it will be used to the 
the required purpose so here it is a light bulb so the purpose of the light bulb will be giving light energy so this process also we need to have bigger proportion of light energy given out so i will take like a proportion over here and show you so 50 out of 40 will be um, 80 percent and here they have given 75 percent they have given 30 out of 50 that means 100 out of 60 sorry 60 out of 100 and in this one 25 out of 100 so that they are asking the most efficient one most efficient one will be a moving to next question 39 sorry 38 when a small piece of metal calcium is added to water, it reacts and produces hydrogen gas H2. When a small piece of metal potassium is added to water, it also reacts and produces hydrogen gas. The general word equation for both reaction is metal plus water will give metal hydroxide plus hydrogen. State one observation that will be the same for the reaction of both metals with water. Observation will be that it will start reacting so that it will be fizzing. There will be bubbles forming. Second one, state one observation that will be different for the reaction of the two metals with water. We know potassium is a little bit more reactive substance than calcium. So that potassium bubbles faster. And also sometimes this can give a spark as well. It start burning, not a spark, it can, it can uh, catch on fire. It can give a flame. C. If the formula of potassium hydroxide is KOH, write the balance symbol equation for the reaction between potassium and water. The balanced symbol equation, so that doesn't mean the word equation, this means a symbol equation, so that potassium plus water h2o and it gives potassium hydroxide koh plus hydrogen gas most of the information are given in the question so let's see how to balance it once again if you can't remember how to balance it please use my balancing equation uh, video so i will quickly try to do this one here as well so i need to balance this number of hydrogen atoms you can see in the reactant sorry product side there are three hydrogen atoms so that to balance it i definitely need to add two in front of this if i add two in front of that to balance that i'll have to add two in front of these two as well so this will be the balanced equation next one 39 the speed time graph shows the first first part of the car journey and uh, describe the relationship between speed and time during the first 10 seconds. Within first 10 seconds, you can see it is reaching uh, until 10 meters per second. So that we can say uh, the direction is proportional to the time or we can say that it is accelerating. So I will say... Here we can say that speed is directly proportional to the time. Next part, what speed does the car travel at between 10 seconds to 30 seconds? We can see the value is 10 meters per second. Make sure that you write the unit. If the unit is wrong, you are not getting any marks. Use your answers to B1 to calculate the distance traveled between 10 seconds and 30 seconds into the journey. Show you working. Now this is also not in the new syllabus. But I would quick, quickly do that. It's a simple calculation once again. Distance is equals to. Um, 
the area under the graph so we can say uh, 30 into 10 that is 20 seconds 20 seconds into speed is 10 so answer will be 200 meters next question 40th question once again this is also not in the syllabus I'm not going to discuss that one let's look at question number 41 Vitamins are a vital component of a balanced diet. Vegetables such as cabbage are a good source of vitamin C. We know there are uh, five types of uh, nutrition that you need to take in a balanced diet. That will be carbohydrate, protein, fats, vitamins and minerals. So they are talking about vitamins over here. Cooking cabbage in boiling water affects the amount of vitamin C present in the cabbage. A food scientist carries out an investigation to see how the length of the time that cabbage is cooked in boiling water affects the vitamin C content. Uh, the table shows the results and the cooking time is given from 0, 0 0.5, uh, 2, 4, 7, 10. Vitamin percentages are decreasing from 100 to 80, 60, 49, 40, 37. What is the dependent and the independent variable in the, in the investigation? So if you have noticed these past papers, every paper they are asking these type of a practical question and they are asking the dependent variable and the independent variable. So dependent variable, sorry, independent variable is the one that we are changing. Depending on that, the one which is changing will be the dependent variable, simple as that. So in this scenario, what we are changing is the cooking time. Time cooked. Or oh, I will simply say time. And the dependent variable is the vitamin C percentage. Moving to next one. How could the results be made more reliable? We can take, uh, I mean we can do repetitively this one or we can repeat the experiment and find out an average moving to next question plot the food uh, scientist results on the grid and use them to draw a curve of best fit so we'll see the data the time has to be in the x-axis Vitamin C percentage has to be in the y-axis. So time has to range from 0 to 10 and the vitamin C from 100 to 37. We can take 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, uh, time is ranging only until 10. Yeah, okay. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Next one, this axis, it has to range to 100. So I would say 20 over here, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Um, now we will look at the data. 0, it is 100. Going to next 0 0.580. So this is 0 0.5, then it is 2, 2 and 60. It is 49. I will mark it almost here. 7, it is 40.
next one then it is 37 so it is almost 40 once again so you can see there's a curve which is going to be try to draw it nicely as possible so marks will be given for uh, taking correct values in the x-axis taking correct values in the y-axis remember always these intervals has to have the same uh, width now if you are taking two this width also has to be the same and that value has to be the same uh, value as well the, the difference has to be the same because i have seen when i'm marking papers sometimes students take different different values for the same uh, type of interval and also another thing you have to take the maximum use of this graph at least you have to take at least you have to use more than 50 percent of the graph paper that they have given next question use your graph to estimate the vitamin c content of cabbage cooked in boiling water for five minutes we'll use a dotted line for this one so at five minutes you can draw a dotted line upwards my graph is not perfect but make sure when you are trying to draw draw it uh, by using the correct equipments like ruler pencil so that you can get a better uh, readings and better values Here your answer would be, keep the rule and see, I think it is around this value here, can be 45 or 46. Say 46, no 45 I would take. Moving to next question. Uh, Caitlin knows that when metal reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, there is an increase in the temperature. Caitlin provides with sample of four metals, W, X, Y, Z. She investigates their reactivity by measuring the rise in the temperature when each of the metal reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid. She makes a prediction about the link between the reactivity of the metal and the rise in temperature and then plans her investigation. You can see the setup. First one, uh, use your knowledge of the rea re reactivity series to make a complete prediction about the link uh, between the reactivity of the metals and the rise in temperature. So we can say greater the rise of the temperature, uh, I think that more reactive the metal is, the greater the rise of the temperature. Next one, suggest one safety precaution Caitlin should take because she is using an acid. Explain your answer. So the safety precaution we can say that wear gloves or wear safety uh, goggles, safety spectacles. But then again the explanation has to be acid could be corrosive. Wear goggles because acid could be corrosive that is the danger don't say that it is harmful say that the exact danger state two variables that she needs to control in her investigation we should keep the concentration of acid constant and also we have to say the amount of metals And also the size of it. I will give you the third answer here. Size of metal. We know when something is turned into powder, uh, the reaction would increase. So we need to keep the same sizes of metals or the same surface area. Such is the apparatus she should use to measure 20 cubic centimeter of acid. That is measured in cylinder. Next question. 
the diagram shows the thermometer readings when metal W is used. Uh, starting temperature value is, so you can see it is 18.8. And the highest temperature is 76.2. So that the rising temperature will be the difference in between these two. It will be 57.4. It's a calculate and find out. Data can be qualita quantitative and qualitative. Explain why data in the table above is described as quantitative. Because quantitative has numerical values. So to explain something, if we are using numerical values, that means it is a qualitative, sorry, quantitative explanation. What is the zero temperature rise of metal X suggest about the metal? We can say that it doesn't react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Next question, use the values of the rise in the temperature to suggest the order of reactivity of four metals x, y, z, sorry, w, x, y, z. The rise in temperature you can see uh, it's giving most reactive to least reactive. So the most reactive is w, then y, z, and x, w, y, z, x. Caitlin's teacher said that she could improve her method by using polystyrene cup with a lid instead of glass beaker. Suggest so one reason why this would improve Caitlin's method because we know polystyrene is an insulator so that uh, this container can be insulated uh, sorry, without using a glass beaker if, the, if she used polystyrene that the heat will not um, um, we can say that we can that person can, can have a less heat lost um, and also lead will prevent the heat loss as well. So we will mention is a good insulator. So that it prevents heat lost or oh, it reduces now uh, since it's a one mark question uh, this much if you have written this much it is enough but you can talk about lead as well additionally lead will prevent heat lost it's not actually prevent it will reduce we can say okay that's it for uh, the 2017 paper then Please like this video and make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well so you can get the latest videos from my channel. Thank you. Bye.